So anyhow, I thought tonight I'd give you a little uh, review on a wood stove that I got back in 2012. It's an Ons Osburn stove. OS B U R N E. Uh, this stove was produced in Canada. I bought it from a local dealer back in 2012. It's actually a certified EPA stove. Um, and it does have a glass front on it. And I thought I'd give you some information on what my thoughts were, how it does, how it's been, and how it's going. So, first of all, um, my son and I, we built all of this. Um, we, uh, I didn't have a clue how to do this. I had a good friend of mine. Uh, his name is Donnie. He uh, does drywall. And he uh, said, hey, man, he said, I think I know how to do this. We'll get some uh, of that uh, cement. And uh, he showed me how thick to do it. And we started the first row. And then basically, uh, I took off from there. So, uh, anyhow, it, it took... I don't know, two or three weeks to do this piece by piece. Um, I actually, um, on this here, you just, I took the drywall off. I put on that hardy board, that concrete board, and then you put a, it's a, kind of like a wire mesh. And on that wire mesh, it goes up at an angle. And um, anyhow, when you run your first layer of that cement on, um, and then basically you start laying these basically man-made looking blocks. I did start at the top um, and then work my way down. <clears throat> Got down to the bottom here. I built the, the bottom base out of a two by eights that ran this way. And then underneath this uh, landscape pavers is what they are. Um, I've got another layer of concrete board underneath there just for extra uh, fire protection and all the way around. And then this here goes on top. But um, I went to Menards, got this here. It's a just <clears throat> landscape pavers it uh, turned out really good I was gonna buy the same stuff for this but this stuff just really isn't that durable so if you're throwing wood down and stuff like that it's gonna chip on it so I decided not to do that went this route it blends in really good I built this fire ring right here um, uh, that musket loader right there kind of a long story I uh, got that from a Good friend that I was stationed with up in the U.S. Coast Guard up in Station Niagara up on Lake Ontario. He had that 50 caliber uh, muzzle loader. He had a ball stuck in the bottom of that deal. Uh, and he said, Aaron, he says, uh, you get this ball out so I can use it for muzzle loading season. He says, when I get done with it, you can have it. I said, done deal. So um, it was kind of difficult. I actually had to, to heat up the bottom of the, the barrel with a torch and uh get that lead ball to actually melt and fall out of there is kind of an interesting deal but uh anyhow it makes a good uh uh rifle to hang on the mantle uh this is cedar post i got this big cedar post from my dad i took a chainsaw to it cut one post directly in half got all that mounted uh put in place and uh got a nice little cross cut saw for uh for looks and a couple of uh, traps and these traps I've actually used these traps um, when I started trapping here several years ago my dad had these and uh, I got these from him and uh, got them zip tied so they stay open that way you don't snap your fingers but anyhow uh, those were traps and um, and they're still functioning today if I need to use them so anyhow <clears throat> it's an Osborne wood stove uh, this thing here was uh, meant to heat up a house about 1,800 square feet. And uh, it's it's really cool. It's uh, got a dampener on the back side of it. It does have a blower on the back. Turn that on enough. Very seldom do I ever use that blower. That's how well this wood stove works. If you don't have one... Get one of these bad boys. I'll tell you what, those are phenomenal to have. It knows, it tells you exactly what your uh, flue temp is going out of your wood stove. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about burning your house down. Um, it's got your, the dampener control here on and off. That's our, our, I'm sorry, not the dampener. This is your air intake. Tells you how much air goes in. Um, and then this is, like I said, your dampener on the side. What I use to get a start, fire started with is number one, some good wood. Um, 
I don't like to use wood unless it's about a, at least a year old. Anything less than that, you're going to have a lot of sap and moisture in there, and it just it just doesn't burn near as good. You're going to have a lot of creosote issues if you do that, especially on a, on a uh, glass front. Uh, this here works phenomenal. So anything over a year, you're good to go. Now, you can go and buy the fire starters in a box. 13 bucks, right, for a box of fire starters. They're basically compressed sawdust with, I guess, some kerosene or diesel fuel in there. Hardens up. You like them dudes. And it usually takes a while to get going. So the guy that I am, he always got some used oil around, right? And a little bit of diesel fuel. That's what I have. I mix up a 50-50 solution of diesel fuel and used oil. And everybody and their brothers got socks laying around that the sock monster has and you just cut them all up throw them in a jug like this put your kerosene or um, diesel fuel and used oil in there and that's what i use right there it is not very uh it's not very volatile at all uh, it actually works extremely well i keep that outside my wood boots And I just tucked it up in there. Gonna give it a little light. Just like that. Never use gasoline, folks. That would be a bad thing. Just like that. That's about as volatile as it gets right there. And I've used fire starters. And let me tell you, this here works so much better. Um, you have a... Um, a nice flame it kind of takes off and it doesn't get any bigger than that I'd say this is a hotter flame and uh, it does very well now let me tell you a little history on all this um, so I got it in 2012 and my home isn't a very big home I have a 2,000 square foot home that includes a small two-car garage so I heat approximately 1,800 square feet in my house and with that, I don't use very much wood. Um, we have a regular heat pump air conditioner system that we use. Um, if I don't have this going, but I typically have this going. Um, anything in the uh, 45 and below, 15 below, I'll have a small wood wood fire going. But uh, this is where we hang out, man. We drink a lot of coffee. Big time coffee drinkers, love it. Love sitting by the fire, kind of a country boy. Always love sitting by a fire outside, telling stories, drinking coffee, roasting marshmallows, eating hot dogs. That's all I like to do. And uh, this uh, wood stove just brings the outside to the inside. And uh, i tell you what, on cold winter nights, there's nothing like sitting on the couch, sitting here in these rocking chairs, having a nice cup of coffee and talking about the past or talking about the future and uh, it's it's pretty awesome they enjoy it so the Oz Oz burn wood stove um, like I said it's Canadian made um, I did special order this stove with the stainless steel um, cap that goes around the the door is very very efficient um, I live in Illinois and I burn five, five, that's right, five pickup truck loads a winter. That's all I burn. That's it. And I did, uh, there for a little bit, I did cut my own firewood, split it. Um, and then I decided, Hey, I'll just go ahead and buy my own. So I buy it for $50, a truckload and $50 a truckload times five loads a year is $250 so I'm able to heat my home keep it pretty much any temperature I want to from 72 to 74 degrees for $250 and that is remarkable now how much does this wood stove burn in a week well I'll tell you um, I empty the ashes one time a week every Saturday that's what I do that's it 
that's how much wood it burns it burns very little I'll go through maybe a wheelbarrow and a half to maybe two wheelbarrows a week if I have it going 24 hours a day seven days a week but it just doesn't use it. it it's very very efficient what's nice about this wood stove is it's kind of amazing how this works the the wood stove itself you can actually cook on this if you wanted to you put your skillet a pan whatever you wanted to right on there and cook you can it's, it's perfect to do that you do have these side panels on the side that does keep the heat from from your side protection and also on the back but on the front you've got a glass front and a top you can cook on there if you want to the glass window the air, <clears throat> when you open up your air supply right here, comes in right here at the top of the door. It's really cool. And what that does, that air comes in from the back and runs along the top of the wood stove and preheats, the air does, and then exits right here. And when it exits, it blows air across the window back to the fire and then it burns and then the smoke goes up the flue. But what's cool is, is when that air comes across, it keeps the smoke off your glass. And it is amazing. Um, I clean the glass maybe once a week. And as long as you have a nice good uh, wood in there, good fire, man, that glass stays perfectly fine. It really does. And what I find out is your little, Temperature here, thermometer. If everybody has a modern cook stove, when you put your oven on, oven clean, it gets up to around 500 to 600 degrees, and it cleans your oven, right? You open your oven, everything is just a, a pile of ash in there, just a white ash. Well, if you keep this thing hot for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, up around that 500 degrees, to 600 degrees in that area right there and if you have a little bit of buildup or creosote on your glass it'll clean that stuff right off just like your cook stove does so pretty amazing and uh, knock my peace sign down that's probably better but this is it that's what I do right here. My wife and I, we sit here a lot. And um, it's a beautiful time. Very inexpensive. And uh, if you've had a wood stove, there's nothing like wood heat. Nothing like it. It um, takes the, the chill right out of the air. And uh, it's a, definitely a different type of heat and uh, we've had electric lived in some apartments and, and some other houses when i was in the coast car moving around and electric heat it just it's just not the same you know even a heat pump just isn't the same you know it just isn't so i recommend a, a wood stove if you can if you get an epa certified wood stove like this is it's going to save you a lot of money on just getting wood and even if you chop wood and cut it yourself, it's still going to save you some money. And uh, I think I think you'll like it. Um, I know there's some cities and such that have some type of restrictions on wood stoves, and, and they have to be EPA certified. And so this one here falls falls in that guideline. Um, the cost of this wood stove I think was around seventeen hundred dollars. Yes, it was a lot of money, but. Um, it's already paid for itself um, in heating costs big time and uh, so it's uh, it's been a great addition to our home that's for sure so um, I think that's about it I, I, I think kind of told you everything that I need to tell you on that I if you guys have any comments or questions man just Man, write them down. On my uh, iPhone, I have uh, uh, comment alerts. So if there's somebody on my channel that comments, it automatically goes directly to my phone. And I see what's going on 
all the time and I'll respond back to you as fast as I can. So if you don't have a wood stove and you got access to some firewood, man, go do it. It's going to be fantastic. I think you'll like it. Really do. Really do. Probably the only precautionary is if you do have any young kids to, you know, make sure they put up a little a little rail or something, you know, around your, your wood stove to keep those little hands from getting burned. That's a number one priority for sure. So, anyhow, uh, like I said, just uh, enjoy the fire. I'll show you another clip here in a minute of it kind of really blazing. And uh, it's good. It really is. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. I've let this fire get up to its operating temperature. And I'll kind of show you guys what this temperature's running. So as you can see, man, I've got this thing pegged out at about 600 degrees. That's where I start shutting her down. Push it all the way in, pull it out about an inch, and that's it. That's all you have to do, man. Fantastic. Now, when I'm in the living room, all I have to do is sit back, relax, drink some coffee, and call it good. Right here. Cheers. Coffee with a little cream. Nothing better. So, uh, if anybody's thinking about a wood stove, once again, man, get it. it, it it'll be well worth it. Yeah, there's a little bit of work to it, but the ambiance of sitting in your home in the winter night, can't do nothing outside. It's cold, snowy, rainy, windy, whatever. At least you have this to come back to. and What a, what a perfect place just to Spend time with the family. Talk about stories. I don't play games. I don't like games. My family loves games. I don't. <laughs> we do play tic-tac-toe every once in a while. But uh, this right here is what I love. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Um, man, if you guys got any questions, comments, man, just, just ask. I'll get back with you. And... Uh, We'll see you soon, and God bless.